Art and poetry are powerful ways to access and express emotions which can feel inexpressible, particularly when considering such enormous issues as the climate and ecological crisis, and now of course COVID-19. And many people are struggling with emotions ranging from despair to hope, from anger to love, from grief to regret and many others. In Green Christian we feel an art section on our website can be a powerful and helpful platform both for the artists, poets and the recipients, the, the viewers, the readers as people share their feelings in the form of their own paintings, drawings and poetry. The arts webpage was set up in early 2020 and has been showing some of the work submitted so far. Graham Norman is our art convener and he'll share with you now in more detail the arts page and how to submit your work. A friend recently told me that she had stopped watching nature programs on television because instead of enjoyment she was experiencing distress. I understand that. The combination of climate crisis, environmental pollution, extinction of life forms and now the Covid pandemic is overwhelming and we can often feel nothing but anxiety, distress and fear. Kept to oneself, these emotions can be destructive and yet expressed in art or poetry, they can be a source of creativity and comfort both to the person creating and to others who receive them, almost as a gift. As arts convener for Green Christian, I have the pleasure of enabling people to share their creativity on the arts page. Start off by having a look at the arts page on the Green Christian website. It's in the resources section and there you can read poetry, look at art submissions and read and interact with the arts blog. If you want to submit some creative work of your own, please take a good look at the submissions guidelines before sending it in to me. I aim to respond to all submissions as quickly as possible and I'm not there to judge if the work is any good because I know that you will only send in heartfelt, honest work. And that is good enough for me. So, we're looking for poetry and art that speaks to grief, lamentation, creativity, joy and hope, rather than just descriptions of the state of the earth. Poetry submissions should be in word format and be single poems and not exceed 50 lines. Photographs of art submissions should be in JPEG format. You should include your name, contact details, and if you like, a short bio of about 100 words. Only one submission of poetry and one piece of artwork may be submitted each month. As an experienced poet and as an occasional artist, I have experienced the therapeutic value of expressing my difficult feelings about the world's environmental crisis and my joy in being part of God's creation. Creativity in its many forms is also a form of meditation. So try it as a doer. Enjoy it as a receiver, as a viewer 
and as a reader.